Hey, what's up guys? Alicia here with Terra Drift. And we recently got our hands on the brand new Espen Flow e-bike, a self-proclaimed urban commuter's dream. So we laced up our shoes. Well, Josh did. To my father's everlasting frustration, I ride in sandals like 85% of the time. But uh, we laced up and or strapped on our shoes and hit the streets to see what this e-bike could do. And you know what? We had a blast. Now, I've ridden e-bikes before. I remember my very first experience was in Yakima, Washington, where I rented one from this great little shop called the Bearded Monkey. I took it out on the paved hike and bike trail and had myself a freaking blast. I mean, I was giggling like a toddler out there because I was zipping around so fast. The next time was in San Francisco. We rented e-bikes because uh, it's San Francisco and we're in good shape, but who wants to ride up all of those hills all day? Not us. Jeez, we got worn out just riding around on e-bikes after six hours of hills. I can't imagine riding them without some form of motorized assistance. But both times we had had so much fun. I mean, I've always loved cycling and I feel like a kid every time I get on my trusty Trek road bike, but there's something about getting that same cycling motion and activity you enjoyed when you were a kid, if you were lucky enough to have that experience, but so much faster. I'm talking 20 miles per hour. Usually I only hit those speeds on my bike riding downhill. 20 miles per hour is freaking fast and it's awesome. And if you're not giggling like a toddler while you're doing it, then you're doing it wrong. Because cycling should be fun, always. Except for when that motorist refuses to give you the requisite three feet when you're riding on the street. Then you can swear and yell and threaten to throw things through the windshield. But then try to get back to having fun, which is easy on the Espen flow. But let's break down what this bike is all about. First of all, Espen makes e-bikes that are approachable and affordable, at least as far as e-bikes go. While some brands can easily start at 2,000, 5,000, in, even up to 10 grand and above, the flow hovers closer to 1500. And if you live in the lower 48, fun fact, shipping is free. It comes in two colors, smoke gray and forest green, and features a 500 watt geared hub motor with eight gears. It can go between 30 to 50 miles per charge, depending on how much assistance you want, like pedaling, of course. And the lithium ion battery will recharge in about six hours. That's pretty decent for a bike in this price range. A crystal clear color display shows you all your metrics, including your speed, battery level, pedal assist level, which ranges between one and five, by the way, and an odometer. The bike has hydraulic disc brakes, which is super nice, plus a bright headlight and taillight slash brake light for safer night riding. It arrives in a big old box, 95% assembled. We also have a video that guides you through assembly if you need it. And it even comes with a 12 month warranty. The 48 volt battery is removable so you can bring it inside to charge it. And yes, it requires a key to remove it from the bike frame, which is great because that means the battery will be a lot harder to steal if you have to leave the bike locked up outside for a bit. Also handy because the bike itself weighs a hefty 55 pounds, so you probably aren't gonna wanna be carting it up and down a lot of stairs. That said, there is a push assist feature that if you're walking the bike uphill or some such, the motor will offer a little boost so you're not heaving and huffing the whole way. Super handy. And then there are all the accessory mounts. Honestly, it was a little worried at first because I didn't see a place to mount a water bottle holder. And guys, I need a water bottle holder, preferably two, but it's actually located under the middle crossbar, so problem solved. Though a bottle is a bit harder to get down there, so I guess sipping will just have to wait for stoplights. I also appreciate that the bike is designed to be a workhorse with all the rack attachment points. It comes with a rear rack, which means it's ready to cart bulky items with the aid of a few bungee cords, but it's also pannier ready so you can hook on bags from Espen, which double as roll top backpacks or whatever other brand you like. So you can cart stuff to the office or back from the grocery store or a bunch of succulents or six packs or succulents and six packs from your neighborhood nursery or cidery. But you can also add a front rack on for even more storage and cargo space. So basically it's a small car. I'm thinking at least a dozen succulents and three to five six packs, honestly, minimum. This is a pedal assist type e-bike, which means you do have to pedal in order to get access to the electric motor. But there is a little throttle, so you do have the option of an extra
extra power boost when you need it. How's the ride? Nice. Like with most e-bikes, there's a bit of a jerk when the motor first kicks in after you first start pedaling, especially on the higher power settings, but it's nothing you won't get used to. I just wouldn't pedal when going around tight corners if I were you. At least until you get a feel for it. Then go nuts. The Flow does have a nice easy step through style frame, which makes it perfect for just tooling around town in whatever shorts, pants, skirt, kilt, kimono, dashiki you wanna tool around town in. And the buttons and displays are super easy to use. After just one ride down the block, I felt pretty comfortable operating the bike. Also, it made the very hilly ride to the grocery store way more enjoyable. Also, with all those racks, I was able to actually buy groceries instead of just a carton of oat milk and some bananas, which is just about all I can fit in my usual day pack. When it comes to the actual riding, stopping on the uphill can be a little tricky, which is the case with most e-bikes. The motor doesn't kick in for maybe half a revolution, and since the bike is heavy, it's hard to get it moving when gravity wants to pull you in the opposite direction. But we did find that ensuring the bike was in the easiest gear before you stopped and then pushing on the throttle a bit made that situation a lot easier when it was time to get going. The ride is comfortable as you're able to sit pretty upright, which is great for urban riding. No complaints here. All I'd say is is that before you set off across town, ride up and down your street or in a parking lot for a bit, especially if you've never ridden an e-bike before because it does take a few minutes to get the hang of it. But it's pretty straightforward and obviously very fun. But because we're all about sustainability here at Terra Drift, we know you wanna know where the eco-friendliness of this bike comes in. Okay, yeah, it's not more environmentally responsible than a regular old bicycle, what with the battery and having to be plugged in and all. But if you're considering Considering an e-bike as a stand-in for a gas-powered or even a hybrid or electric vehicle, then yeah, definitely more sustainable than that. Frankly, here at Terra Drift, we've been a one-car household since 2011, and it's totally worked for us. But there have been plenty of instances where we've had to play a little bit of rock, paper, scissors to see who gets the car and who has to ride the hilly route to the studio or the grocery store because we forgot to get coffee until we were completely out, or we need to go to a meeting or what have you. And let me tell you, you do not want to ride six miles to a meeting in July in Austin. There will not be a dry spot on your body. There just won't. So for us, yeah. An e-bike is a super fun thing to have, but it's also basically a second vehicle. A second vehicle that's way cheaper and doesn't require insurance. So yeah, that's a win. And you can always charge it with solar. Our Goal Zero Yeti 500X and Nomad 50 panels should be able to handle that nicely. But that's a different video. So what do you think? Maybe need an e-bike in your life? We think the Espen Flow is a pretty good place to start. We'll put a link in the description below so you can check it out for yourself. And you know, maybe hit the little add to cart button. You won't regret it. If you have any questions about the Espen Flow, type them up in the comments below and we will answer to the best of our abilities. In the meantime, be sure to like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss any of our future gear reviews and outdoorsy updates. And then follow us on all the social channels channels like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And head on over to TerraDrift.com where there's even more outdoorsy content and adventures waiting to be discovered. As always, thanks for watching. Get on your bikes and ride. And also, wander on. Yes, that was a Queen reference. Get any Queen fans in the house? I see you out there, you're a Journey fan. We're not friends. Just kidding, Journey's fine. She's one of those bands that's sort of been played out at like every wedding ever. I'm all about that Queen though. Bicycle. Bicycle. I really do want to ride my bicycle. You know what? I'm just gonna go ride. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Yep.